Hey FlossTube, I'm Veronica and this is my 31st FlossTube video. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, today is the 19th of December 2020. As you can see I'm sitting by my Christmas tree. It's early in the morning so as you can see behind my Christmas tree is a window and it's still dark out. Um, so welcome if you're new to my channel. Um, my videos tend to be about cross stitch so um, if you're not interested you're welcome to leave. I don't mind. Uh, but thank you for staying if you decide to stay. Um, if you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for um, thanks for coming back to my channel. So anyway, um, this video is going to be about my 2021 goals, which I haven't done in the past, but this year I've decided to because I think it will be fun and I've got a lot of big whips that I want to make some progress on. So I'm going to show you all of my whips, whether or not they have progress since my last video, which is about half of them and talk about what my um, plans are. Um, I am going to be doing WIPCO 2021, um, and I'll link the Facebook group below. That's a group that's put on by Jessie Marie of Jessie Marie Does Stuff. And basically it's like bingo, where she calls two, two of your spaces and you, you assign what the spaces are for you. Um, and then that space is marked complete, or two, two of the spaces each month, sorry. And um, a space is marked complete after she has called it and you have completed the, the goal for that space. So I'm gonna be doing that one. I'm also gonna be doing on full coverage Fanatics 21 and 21 because um, I, I wanna get a lot of progress done on one of my whips, which I'll talk about in a bit. And I am, I have been doing Stitch from Stash in the second half of 2020. I have decided not to do that, at least for the first half of 2021. Um, you can, I think you can join it any time by um, any for any I'm sorry uh, half a year if you want to be like participating. So um, I'll I'll post my last progress update in early January for the month of December. And if I don't buy anything else, I'll be good. Um, I'll have succeeded to st spend within my my budget. But um, I, I want to buy a little bit more, so <laughs> I'm kind of letting myself out of the group for a little bit, especially I want to get up a shadow lane. Those aren't cheap. And especially since, you know, Swarovski, I don't know if any of you have heard, Swarovski has decided they want to get out of the crafting industry. So um, all the little uh, charms that they make, they're going to stop making available. And so I want to buy some. I'm sure there will be another uh, vendor that steps up and there are some already, but Swarovski is by far the most um, common, I think. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started now with my my projects. Um, I'll show you first of all my Whipco board, um, but it's probably going to be hard to read things. So, um, so here's my Whipco board. So, I have not started anything new, and all of the projects that I have on my Whipco board are existing whips. And none of them include finishing the project. So um, I do like finishing things and I want to, but I want to kind of make some of my projects are just so big. Others I might finish in the year and it, it'll be like icing on the cake. Um, but anyway, so the first thing that I have is the accolade by Edmund Layton, charted by Heaven Earth Designs. Here's a picture of what that will look like when it's done. So I finished each 10. And so here's what that is compared to last time. Page 10 is her, the bottom part of her hair and part of her shoulder there. Um, on the Webco board, this represents 10 spaces in 2021. Each space will be a page finish. These are large format pages, so it's only about 5,000 stitches, a little more, or a little less than 5,000 stitches. So it's not I think it's definitely something I can do within a half month. That means that some months, two of them might get called. And I'll, I'm prepared to do two pages in a month. I just really have to buckle down and do it. It usually takes me between one and two weeks to complete a page. I'm doing this full cross, one over one on 28 count Joblin. Um, let me zoom in a little bit on the new stuff. Take you closer. So next page is going to be super interesting, right? It's going to like do a lot more of her face and her arm. And that means it's also going to be a little bit more confetti. That's okay. When I get down over here to the edge, the last page is only 13 stitches wide. 
So I've kind of given myself a little gimme there because one of those, one of those, well, I, I haven't put specific pages down on my whip code board, but when I do get to that, it'll be a nice quickie one. I'll probably get it done with the last, the prior page. So yeah, so if I am successful in that, I will complete uh, another 10, like I said, and then I'll have 20 pages done. So right now I have 10 pages done. But again, that's not completing this project. I don't expect to complete this project anytime soon because it's big. So my next work in progress that I have goals for, this one I think represents four in my Whipco board. Um, here's this, uh, The Castle by Teresa Wensler. It is out of print, as are all of her uh, dragon designs. Her non-dragon, or many of, not all, but many of her non-dragon designs are still available on Patterns Online, um, digitally only. And if you look on like eBay, you can find most of these things um, still. So anyway, so I worked a little bit on this since last time. So let me show you, let's see if I do, I just wonder which side to do. Um, this is where I am at since last time on the castle. Let me move it a little closer. So as you can see, I did what I'm calling like the fluffy part of his wing or her wing. I'll say it's a her. Um, this is on a, I ordered a picture of this plus Lugana 20, or sorry, 32 count. Um, and it's in Mercedes. Um, but since I, I don't know, it's probably just how I'm stretching it and stuff because it doesn't seem to be 32 count it's more like 36 count it just shrunk i guess in the die i'm guessing i don't know but it doesn't matter because there's no beads in this and it, i think it still looks good small so my goals for 2021 are to let me see if i can well let me hold up the actual design for the completed time, are to finish out the wing that's one of them um and to um do the dragon part on this page up to the leg, which isn't very much, and then to do the rocks above that. So it's, it's kind of like very, very specific. Um, when I start working on this, I usually don't want to stop because it's so much fun. And I think I'll probably do more than those. Um, if she calls something out, this is kind of like in order for me. I, I like to do, I want to do these in the order. So if she calls something that's beyond where I am at, I'll probably just do the part that um, where I need to do, like, let's say she calls the dragon leg one and I'm on the wing and I want to finish the wing. I'll just finish the wing and then I'll, it'll, it's going to slow me down and being able to mark off spaces, but that's okay. This is the only one of my whips where that's the case. <clears throat> my goodness, I'm losing my voice. I might have to pause to go get some water. Most of my videos aren't very long. This one's probably going to be a little longer. Um, well, you guys can see that because you can see the time. I don't know yet. I can't predict the future. <laughs> Um, my next work in progress whip is this one I don't have any progress on since last time, so I'm not going to do before and after. Um, this is the uh, European Bistro by Dimensions. And this one represents three spaces on my Whipco board. So, oops, as I'm holding it upside down. So the, the, the fabric for this is I just used the kit provided Ada, uh, 16 count blue Ada. And my goals are the three. So this is about a quarter of the height and this is a quarter of the width. So I did the first quarter column working on the second quarter column. So I've got, I've got one of these quarter by height. My goals are the three remaining so that when I'm done with the year, I'll have completed half of this design. So that's, let me show you that again because did I put it? <laughs> so yeah, if I'm successful, I'll be finishing like this section in here. So if I'm more than successful, I might get further along because I really think if I did sit down with any one of these pieces, except for the accolade, because that one's huge, I would be able to finish it like, um, for a little, I'm, I was trying to break my goals down into uh, about one to two week size bites because I want to start more in 2021. I haven't started anything in like since like May or June, I think. So um, I've been good. <laughs> so 
So my next um, work in progress is a series of um, Star Trek designs by Pixel Power. Um, the artist is Sergey. Oh, how do you say his last name? Hold on. Vozika, um, Vozika. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Um, so my apologies if you're watching. Um, so this is a. These are like pixelated people, and I'm gonna. Sh I was working on the. Uh, the sorry, the original series. So I'll put a picture of that here. And I have not worked on this since last time, but so here's where I'm at now with that. Um, my goals on the Whipco board are. One of them is to finish this whole design, so to get the rest of the people done, including the title. And the next goal, which is significantly smaller, is to start the next series, which is um, the next generation, which I'll put here, and just get like three people done on that. So that's much smaller than finishing this one out, but even so, finishing that one out, I think I can do in a week. Um, again, you know, of course, there are always unforeseen circumstances, but I should be able to do that. So the next one, I will have progress because I have been working on this one actively because it's a Christmassy piece. Um, it's December 19th, Christmas tree. Um, it's a fake tree, by the way. We, <laughs> um, my kids are excited. We've got, we put the presents out like early and they, they want to open them early every day. They ask, can we open an early present? No, we'll probably let them as we get closer to Christmas. But anyway, next design is called Winter White Santa by Mirabilia. Um, it's MD100, so this was like a special edition because the number 100, and it comes with this little charm that goes at the top of the tree. Um, it's a beautiful piece. And I'm gonna show you my progress since I have been actively stitching on this, and I'm gonna continue, and then I'll talk about what with Google. So here's, here's where I'm at. I have to hold this down here, before and after. So as you can see, I did his head, except for his face, his beard. And I did connect his beard and then some of his like other shoulder and stuff. Um, so my goal for this is there's only one space and it's just to finish out his the top half of the piece. So, so it's like right in here a little bit. And there, there's not much left because I've been making such good progress on this. The only thing is, and a lot of a lot of stitchers are doing this, and I think I want to follow along. As you can see, I haven't stitched any of his skin yet in his face. Um, and that's all the, the skin there is, right? He's got his two gloves. His hands are covered by gloves, and his other parts of his body are covered in a coat. It's just this little tiny piece right here, which is about 15 stitches wide and about eight stitches up and down. Um... And here's, here's what he's going to look like. Let me see if I'll, how close I can get it without it being too blurry. I'm going to focus. Okay, well, it's hard to focus, but he's called Winter White Santa. And the whole, you know, Black Lives Matter representation matters, diversity and inclusion. I, I think um, I would like to do a skin conversion on him. He's too pale. <laughs> um, and I think, I think we need more more darker skin Santas. However, I'm not an artist, I'm not a designer. Um, there's about like 10 different colors in that little tiny rectangular face region. So, and it's not just like one, you know, sometimes there's like a range of like lighter tones to dark, darker tones. There's like multiple ranges. There's like the pinks and the skin tones. So I'm gonna try to do a skin conversion to make, to give him a darker complexion. If I'm unsuccessful, I'll probably pick it out and just do what's called for because I'm not very good at this. Um, I did a skin conversion on a mermaid last year for my friend who is of Indian descent, and I wanted the mermaid to kind of look like her, and I converted both her skin and her hair. And that was easy because it was in the design, in the called for design, there was only one skin tone and there were two hair tones. And it was it was an Aura Corbett actually too, but it was just easier because I felt like I just did a blend of, on the skin tone, I think. And I think for the hair, I just used one color of, um, of classic color works. So it was, it had a, like, a, um, uh, um, what do you call it? The, the changing variegation. That's what I'm going to, 
going for. So I, I did a, I did like a little bit of, they were both random variegation basically because one was a blend and the other one was a variegated floss. For this, it's just like, you know, when Nora designed this piece, she put a lot of different, and it's hard to tell because he looks again, so pale. <laughs> so I might, I might have some wiggle room there where I can just kind of say, oh, these two colors are close enough alike. I'll just use one. Um, and I'm going to have to do some research. And the only reason I haven't done this yet is because, you know, we've been watching some TV. I watched The Mandalorian last night. So I'm like, I just want to do, you know, easy block color stitches, which compared to some of my other whips, their villas are easy because it's just a block, block colors. So you don't have to think much. Um, by the way, if you don't watch The Mandalorian yet, it's good. If you do, I won't give, you, give away any spoilers or anything, but the last episode's really good. Okay. Oh, yeah, and this, this is on... 32 count Lugana in a fabrics by Stephanie that I don't remember what it's called. And I lost a little paper, but it's, as you can tell, it's kind of like a sky blue color. Okay. So my next piece, I don't have any progress on since last year, but this is um, Spirited Away by LK Across, Natalia Orovova. Um, my, let me show you where I'm at, and then, so you can see I've, and this, and no progress since last time, I've just done basically Chihiro's Head and Shoulders. Spirited Away is a Studio Ghibli movie, which those movies are all now available on HBO, which is really cool, if you have the HBO Max or whatever it is. My goal, my WIFO goal for 2021, I haven't picked this up in like all of 2020, by the way. But my goal is to, to do this um, like salmon colored lettering and haku, which is the name of the dragon here. And I figured that was something that I think I could do in a period of uh, one to two weeks. Um, the, the fabric I'm stitching this on is a 28 count, or th sorry, 32 count taupe. Um, it's just a one to three stitch fabric. And so, yeah, if I'm successful, you'll see this whole side down here. Um, having that that stitching done. Um, and I kind of wanted to do whip go because it's like, well, my older whips that I haven't given much attention to lately, when she calls them, I'm going to try to get them work to work on them at that time. I'm going to try. We'll see. <laughs> if I'm not at all interested, then I'll consider UFO in these projects. But next one I do have progress on. Um, cause it's kind of like a new start in a way. So in my last video, I think I might've told you my Lowry stand broke. And so I picked up something I could stitch in hand and this is the 12 days of Christmas. So I'll put a picture up here. It's just going to show like, um, the picture from the website where it has, you know, all 12 of them laid out together. Um, I've done days one and two. Let me show you those real quick first. Let's see. And hold them up right because they're square, so it's hard to tell which ones are. Um, and I know it's backwards, right? Okay, one, two. Um, <laughs> this is on a 28 count Charles Craft Monaco that they don't make anymore that I bought in Joann's, and it's kind of like a cream color. Um, these are Teresa Wensler. Sorry, these are still available on her website. Um, you can still buy it, and not her website. Sorry, patternsonline.com. So my progress is just is this. So I did the border for the third day. And my whip go goals for this piece, for this project, sorry. Um, one of them is to finish the inside here. That one's a bit of a stretch goal because, you know, it's, it's, it's all one over one on 28 count, 60 by 60 square. So it's probably doable, but it, her, her designs are pretty confetti heavy, have back stitching, um, sometimes French knots, which, I'm, yeah, it should be, should be doable. It's smaller than a hate page. So the other goal. I have this take up two spaces. I have another one, which is to do the same amount like this on day four, which again, I don't have to do them in order. I could pick up day four and just start stitching on it. And if she calls that one first. Um, so yeah, those are fun. Um, I plan to finish them all the same way in an ornament. So I'll wait till I'm done with all of them before I, um, start to finish them, which I don't have much experience with. Maybe I should do some practicing first. We'll see. Um, next work in progress is very similar to the Spirited Away piece. This is called Totoro, 
also by LKA Cross, Natalia Orhova. And same fabric as well, a 32 count taupe. Even weave, I think it's um, Lugana, sorry. No progress since last time. Um, my 2021 Whip Go goal is a huge goal. This one I might want to get a head start on is all the tree. <laughs> I'm probably going to hate myself for that one, but <laughs> but if I can do the tree, then I think Totoro would be fun and I might just be motivated to stitch on Totoro because with these pieces, I think I bought them because they're beautiful designs, um, but I... As I started working on them, one thing I don't like, and it's harder, to, it's easier to tell in the Chihiro piece than this one, but the the back stitching doesn't, um, it, it sometimes like goes outside of the stitching and sometimes it's inside of the stitching. And I don't like that. This picture doesn't really show that at all, but so I like to do, I'd rather do like fractional stitches around it. So I'm like kind of re redoing the piece a little bit and highlighting it where I'm putting a fractional in and it's getting, I'm probably overthinking it because when you take a step back, you can't even tell. Dimensions pieces kind of do that too, right? Dimensions designs, because they're they're on ADA. There, there are no fractionals. In, well, at least the ones I've done, there have been no flat fractionals. And, you know, the back stitching is not going to be jagged around the stitches. It's going to go, sh you know, straight up. So it's going to cut off. I hope you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, I'm sorry. Um but I just, I don't like coloring outside the lines and that's what it feels like. So um, with these, since I'm doing them on a even weave um, over two, then I'm trying to do like fractional stitches to at least make it look like it's in with new lines. Um, yeah, a lot of talking. And wow, we're 21 minutes in, 22 minutes in. Okay, last one, I promise. <laughs> this is my final whip. Super Mario by Chaco Coco Stitch. This one I don't have any whip go goals for because it's I only stitch this while I'm on the go. Got my son's drum lesson. Um, so let me to pull this one way back because it's kind of big. It's on 14 count touch of blue Ada from um uh, what do you call it? Sorry, one, two, three stitch. Hold on, step back a little bit more. So as I I think, yeah, there we go. Um so as you can tell, I've done I'm working on the bottom row, filling him in. I did that outline of that Koopa there. Koopa Troopa. I don't know what they're called. And I think, you know, if my son continues drums and my other son can go back to karate, which we still are keeping him out of due to the virus, um, I'll definitely finish that one this year if I continue. But I didn't want to put a goal on that because um, it's such it's like short periods of time when I can stitch on it and um, because it's big and it's Ada and I can stitch it in hand. Um, so yeah, one other thing I wanted to say is I, I did kind of allude to, yeah, my Lowry stand broke and yeah, I'm working on bigger pieces again like this and the accolade. And, um, so I built a, uh, a little, uh, what do you call it? PVC pipe lap stand, not lap stand thing that goes on my sides. I, um, I did it based off of uh, one that Mitch Stitch showed instructions on. So I'll link that below and let me go get it so I can show it to you. It's kind of wonky and uh, messed up, but it works. Hold on. So I'm not sure if I'm going to easily be able to show it. This was my Thanksgiving project. See, it just kind of sits. I don't know if you can see like, like this on my side. So like my legs go under it like that project sits here. If I set it down, I don't know if you can tell, it's not <laughs> it's perfectly straight because that glue so, like solidifies really fast. So, but it's fine for now. If the Omnic factory ever makes a new monstric, whatever you say it, stand, I might try to get one. I know they're, they're talking about redesigning them for 2021, but I have no idea when that's going to be. Um, Oh yeah, I never talked about, okay, so a couple of other things I want to mention. Um, haul, I don't have any new purchases, nothing. I did actually buy some DMC floss, but that's not worth showing here. Um, I ordered a bunch of things and everything is, is you might be in the same boat, is, is stuck in the mail somewhere. Um, my color and cotton fabric of the month was shipped like December 2nd and today's the 19th and it's 
been stranded somewhere. I'm, I'm not going to follow up with anybody. I'm not going to make Angela send me something new because it's like everybody's going through this right now. I'm, I'm pretty sure after the holidays are over in probably the first couple weeks of January, all those packages that are, you know, getting uh, piled up in different different locations across the country, they're going to start to be able to work through those. And, um, and everything's going to be delivered, I think, soon. So um, I'll probably give it another month or so <laughs> before I really start saying, hey, you know, maybe you can get your insurance claim and <laughs> send me another one, please. But there are other things, too, that I've ordered and just not here yet. I check the tracking on them every day, multiple times a day. Usually the same, same story. <laughs> um, so, and so no haul. Um, if Whipco, if I come, I've decided to reward myself with starts and purchases. So in, in place of not, not doing stitch from stash, whenever I complete a space on my board, um, I'm going to buy something for a new project or start a small project. Every time I finish a row, like either a, a vertical, horizontal, or a diagonal. There are 12 of those. If I can whip go, bingo, whatever you call it, then I'm going to allow myself to start a new BAP. <laughs> I might start other things too, but this is going to be sort of my my incentive. So I haven't, um, I haven't started anything big in a while. Last big thing I started was probably either the Accolade or Mermaids at the Deep Blue. I forgot which one I started first. Um, so both of those I started like earlier in 2020. I finished Mermaids of the Deep Blue, by the way, if you haven't watched my earlier videos. Still got to get that one framed. But again, I'm waiting for kind of the virus to settle down a bit before I do unnecessary trips out. Because um, it's gotten pretty bad everywhere. So, yeah. I think that's all. I think I'm going to stop talking and get some, some water to drink. Because I'm like way longer than most of my other videos. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me this long if you have. Um, stay safe, everyone. Wear a mask. Don't do the ho like holiday gatherings. This is probably as dressed up as I'm going to get for the holidays. I got dressed up for you guys. I got the, the <laughs> snowflake earrings, earrings and the snowman shirt. Um, it says, let it snow, which isn't really the way I typically feel because it's almost always snowing here in Ohio. Well, not always, but enough. I get, I get enough snow. Usually after the first, first couple of snowfalls, I'm like, okay, that, that's enough. But then it keeps coming. So um, but yeah, I'll stop rambling on. Be safe, everybody. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.